morning. Good morning. Um, Mr. Good morning. Trump, with the exception of your family, oh, it's about have Donald you ever been Trump. told no? Have you ever been told no? <laughs> oh, many times. I've been told no I love Donald him. Trump. It has not been easy for me. And, you know, I, I started off in Brooklyn. My father gave me a, a small, small loan, loan of a million dollars. dollars. Oh. My father gave me a small loan of a million dollars. I came into Manhattan. <laughs> Wait, a small loan back, of a million? By the way, let's just put this in perspective. You said it hasn't been easy for you, but my dad gave me a million dollar no, he loan. Did. But a million dollars isn't very much compared to what it I It hasn't built. been easy for me, but I'm filthy rich. We have very stupid people in our country negotiating for us and we have leaders that don't know what they're doing. Like yourself? He's talking about himself. Thank you for understanding me, Trump. $505 billion. We're gonna lose that. $505 billion. And by the way, I don't like this mic. No, this mic is terrible. <laughs> this stupid mic keeps popping. What? Why are you talking about a microphone? He's like a five-year-old. He throws tantrums about, like, stupid things. I disagree with him on that. That's a matter you of principle, and I'll, and I'll tell you. single biggest liar. This guy will say anything. You will, too. Nasty guy. Now I know why he doesn't have one endorsement from all any right. of his colleagues. All right. All right. So are you diplomatic? When you point to his own record, he screams, liar, liar, liar. If you want to go Where did I support it? Where did I support it? If you want to go Hey, Ted, where did I support it? It's kind of like me and my brother. Hey, Ted. TedCruz.org. Where did I support it, Ted? Out no, of Donald's about a own mouth. Let Donald Trump talk for once. Yeesh. They're both like the rare hot fries of Beverly Hills. That there are for... Immigrants on the whole create our... Come on, try getting it out. Try getting it out. I'll get it out. I mean, I don't know if you're going to put this on television, but you don't even know what you're talking about. Try getting it out. Go ahead. Whoa. This guy is mean. If he talked to me that way, I would literally slap him. I don't care who he is. Somebody should run against John McCain. I supported him. He lost. He let us down. But, you know, he lost. So I never liked him as much after that, because I don't like losers. <laughs> Oh my God! So you shouldn't he like yourself me. then. He hit me. He's not a war hero. He's a war hero. He's a war Five hero. And a half years He's a war hero because he was captured. I like people that weren't captured. Okay, I hate to tell you. Oh you my God! That? That's so mean. He was you don't really joke about that kind of stuff. It's really serious. One of the things people love about you is you speak your mind and you don't use a politician's filter. You've called women you don't like fat pigs, dogs, slobs and disgusting animals. Your Twitter account- <laughs> Only Rosie several... O'Donnell. No, it wasn't. Only it's Rosie several... O'Donnell. That is so rude. He speaks his mind, but his mind isn't right. Classic Trump. Our politicians are all talk, no action. Our country has tremendous potential. Let's make America great again. Still is great. And you're just gonna make it worse. He's just crazy. I don't want him for president. If he becomes president, I'm moving to Canada. Question time! So do you have any idea who that guy is? Donald Trump. Donald! Donald Trump. The worst person in the whole entire world. Everybody knows him. He's on the news, he's on Vine, he's on social media, he's on everything. A lot of people have comb-overs, but that comber, comb-over, like, you have to know. So from watching these clips, what do you think of this guy? He's funny, he's a nice guy, but the other people that are rude to him, they don't let him talk. I think he's a horrible person, no offense. A lot of people like him only because he says things that other people don't have the courage to say. But sometimes you just gotta keep some certain things in. He just says mean things about other people when he's trying to win president by those people. He's like, you're awful. Vote for me. So this is Donald Trump, and he is a businessman known for real estate, and he was a TV celebrity. He hosted his own reality show called The Apprentice, but he is now running for president of the United States. Of course. Can he not win, please? Not only is he running for president, but he's winning in a lot of the states already for the Republican Party. Well, some people say he's not the usual type of person that runs for president. From what we showed you, what about him isn't presidential? No, he seems more of like a comedian. He's just really racist. If you want to be a president, you shouldn't be racist. One of the women said like he didn't have that politician filter and he just says whatever he 
feels like saying. If he's going to be rude to ladies, he shouldn't be a president. Why do you think people like him? Probably because they think he's smart. They're probably just like, oh, I think he would be a good president because he's funny. Everybody is saying a bunch of stuff about him, and that's just making him more popular. The people on the news were saying that, you know, he was like feeding into people's fears. My parents like him because they say he speaks his mind, but I hate him. Well, some people are saying that they like that he speaks his mind, that so many people that run for president always just say what everyone wants them to say. Other people think that if you're running for president, you can't say the types of things that he is saying. What do you think? I think it is not right to do. I think it isn't that nice as a president because presidents are supposed to be nice. I get you're speaking your mind, but say it in a way that won't hurt people. You have to appear confident, but also I like it when people are humble at the same time. He speaks his mind and doesn't really care what people think, but sometimes the thing that's not presidential is what's on his mind. Burn! Trump has said that if he's elected president, he's going to do things like create jobs and protect our country. But he's also proposed doing things like placing a ban on people from the Muslim religion from entering the United States until we can figure out the terrorist problem and building a wall between the U.S. and Mexico to keep out illegal immigrants. What do you think about these things he wants to do as president? That's stupid. My friend has a brother that lives in Mexico, so if, they, if he puts a wall, they won't be able to come over here. It is a free country and then you're just taking that away there are muslims in the world who you know hate what's happening and wish that they could stop it so to just like ban all of them would be a little extreme mexicans coming into the u.s without a, um, without having to do anything when uh, my parents coming from Italy and having to do all this stuff when they don't have to. I mean, that's stupid. Some of his ideas are not the worst, but most of them are. He should not be president. Seeing that you are not old enough to vote yet, do you care who the next president is gonna be? Well, as long as it's not Donald, I'm fine. It does not affect my life whatsoever, and I only care about sports. I don't really care because I trust well, I somewhat trust the adults. It matters a lot. Because the president can remove laws, he can make new laws. I really care about who's going to be president, because this is where I live. I don't want someone controlling me who I don't like. Who rules our country is going to affect us, because we're pretty much the next generation, and we're going to have the country next. So going back to Donald Trump, there are people that think that he shouldn't be running for president because they think he isn't qualified. He had his own board game once. And he also has been like on WWE. He's, he wrestles? But his supporters think that that's the type of person the country needs. That they need someone that is more like everyone else and not just like the normal person who usually runs for president. Do you think that's a good thing or are you not sure? I don't know. I mean, everyone had a job before coming president. I like people with a different background, but I also want someone who's more into politics. You need experience to become president. If you have no experience, something's gonna go wrong. Well, difference is good. It's just maybe a different type of different. Last question. Do you think Donald Trump is gonna become the president? Da, 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 no. 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 I don't think he'll win. Fingers crossed he's not. <sighs> no. No. Or at least I'm hoping. I pray to God. No. Donald Trump will not be our next president. Yes, but I don't think he should. Everyone in my house is guaranteeing it, so I have to. Might, but there's no telling. I mean, anything could happen. Thanks for watching this episode of Kids React. If you don't subscribe, you're fired. Goodbye. I'm going to go play with my small loan of a million dollars.